Bone Fox 4's Alexandra Ranhal was at Four Mile Cove Park where that ceremony took place. With each fold, we pay tribute to the courage and sacrifice of those who have given their lives in service to this great nation. 78 years ago today in the island of Iwo Jima. It was a heavy loss of life and it was a very crucial battle. Thousands of men paid the ultimate sacrifice. An Iwo Jima survivor serving from 1942 to 1945. And 78 years later, the memory still brings many tears for the veterans of World War II. Thousand men, they never had the privilege of living like I did. They never had the privilege of holding up their girlfriend's hand or being a daddy. It's never lost on Alfred Lackey just how lucky he is to be here today. You feel at home. These are our brothers and sisters here. He served as a scrub nurse in the Pacific. Our responsibility was to uh, to unload the planes and bring them to the hospital. We loved those guys. We really did. And it's a love he still holds to this day. And many times, uh, and when they came back from battle, they would say, "Hey, doc, you know, am I going to live?" I said, "You're going to live. We're going to take care of you." Excuse the tear. The battle was one of the bloodiest in Marine Corps history and a pivotal win for the Allied forces. And it was a cri critical island. We had to take it. And that sh showed the Japs that uh, they were on their way out. We were going to win the war. A win and a sacrifice honored today by local veterans and military servicemen from every generation and every branch. Reporting in Cape Coral, Alexander Rangel, Box 4. And